Hi everyone, it's Dr. Pham again. Today we're going to talk about undescended testicle. So before we start, I'm going to draw the body cavity. It's the scrotum. And we're going to draw some kidneys. Then this is your bladder. And then this is the P channel. Okay. So undescended testicle. The test testicles start roughly around where the kidneys are early in life. And then as the babies develop, the testicle has to find its way down into the scrotum. And then there's a little hole here in order for the testicle to come down. Any time during development, the testicle could be stopped at any time and get stuck in this particular area. It can be here, 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 anywhere along this tract. Now, what exactly causes the testicle to stop its descent? No one really knows. We have a lot of theories, but there's no proven concept of why that happens. And so by birth, typically your pediatrician will do a physical exam to palpate both testicle. If they can't feel the testicle, then usually the patient will then get referred to a urologist. However, if they can feel a testicle, especially anywhere from the scrotum all the way to what we call the inguinal area, which is an area that's right here. Now, if the testicle is anywhere that's palpable along the inguinal area, we tend to watch those. Usually at three months of age, 75% will have descended into the scrotum. Those patients will, need, will not need any surgical intervention. Usually by six months, around 90 to 95% of the testicle would have made its way into the scrotum. At around six months of age, if the testicle usually have not descended, then typically a decision will be made between the parents and the urologist whether to operate. I make the decision based on where I feel the testicle. If I feel the testicle and it's almost there into the scrotum, I'll typically wait until about one year. However, if I feel the testicle and it's really high up in the inguinal area, I think the chance of that going down is very low. Typically with those, I will operate early. By one year of age, typically all testicles that have not descended usually will undergo surgical intervention. Now, in terms of the surgery, it's a small procedure, but typically what I do with the surgery is I make a little incision in the inguinal area, about two or three centimeters or so, and basically I will reach down there, free up the testicle, which usually will be around right here. Free that up and free up the spermatic cord, which is what supplies the blood vessel as well as transport sperm someday. Free that up and then I will make a pouch in the scrotum, at which time I will anchor the testicle into the scrotum. Typically, the procedure only takes about 30, to 30 minutes to an hour. It's an outpatient procedure. Patients tend to recover very well. If you have an undescended testicle or you have a concern, Go on familyurology.com and make an appointment or call our office for an evaluation.